let's not say, oh, parents don't get any part in this because right. they are, they are a huge right. part of this. They're collaborators. That being said, by the time a dancer is 10, for sure 11, be a fan, enjoy the show. Um, the dancer by that time just needs the parent to book the studio and then they get to go into the studio. They have their teacher's voice in their head. They know their corrections. They know what a bent leg looks like. Um, and even if it's like, well, yes, but it would be so much better if I was in there and I was pointing it out and I was scratching the back of the leg. And it's like, now we're out of the roles and responsibilities of a parent because they need you to be a source of unconditional love and they need you to be a stable source when the chaos of competition and convention mm -hmm. comes like you get to be their sort their source of stability and love and what a beautiful what a beautiful thing that not every you know not everybody gets mm -hmm. so that that's sort of my piece with the arm's length is let's be real about it. where we're at and also in order for a dancer to truly develop a sense of internal validation and internal confidence they're gonna have to own a lot of this work and they're going to have to know and trust that they can do it themselves and that th they've got this and that they know when to ask for that feedback and then they take the feedback and they go work on it.